Hello everyone. Today I'm going to call, talk about fever post vaccination. It is a very very common problem with young, especially the young adults are facing that after the vaccination, younger individuals, let's say people in the age group of 45 to 50, 55, post vaccination they are developing high grade fever. Now high grade fever is basically three categories. Fever around the range of 100, 100.2. That is because of inflammatory markers or that is because of circadian rhythm which is called that means you start walking for for about two three hours and then you develop fever nothing needs to be done for that kind of fever if the fever is more than 100 and it is in the range of 100 to 102 103 in the such cases you need to take either uh, paracetamol or dolo if it is not subsiding then you take mephenamic acid which you take ideally combine both of them for for resolution of fever and for resolution of body aches, myalgias, because these are all cytokine induced fevers. This is not because of infection, this is because of inflammation. So inflammation can be because of IL-6, TNF beta, TGF alpha, all these are inflammatory cytokines. So this is body's reaction to inflammation, you need not be worried about it. If the fever is more than 102 and persisting about 102, then even cold sponging all across the body with lukewarm water or coming under the shower and getting yourself wet under the shower is okay. It is not because of, it is not going to cause you any pneumonia because these are not infective fevers. So you need not be worried about it. Let us say along with fever, if you have a higher heart rate and the pulse rate goes really high, then at that point of time measure your pulse rate and if your pulse rate is going persistently beyond the 100, 110 range, then go to your physician, check here, take an ECG to find out that there could be some rhythm disturbances where the heart starts contracting. Instead of contracting, it starts fibrillating, which is called atrial fibrillation. So please find out if your heart rate is persistently above 110, 120. So then do a relevant exam, uh, examination in the form of an ECG or if required an echo has to be done by your cardiologist. Thank you.